Ebola virus disease is an um, illness caused by a virus called Ebola virus. This is a virus that comes up uh, episodically in East and Central Africa. It is thought to reside in animals uh, such as bats within the wild and occasionally when human beings come into contact with these animals, they may contract the illness. In humans, it causes a disease that looks very much like malaria, uh, but can progress and become fatal. Ebola can resemble malaria in terms of the symptoms. Within the first week of contracting it, people will complain of having fever, joint pains, muscle pains, vomiting, fatigue, weakness, all of which are symptoms that are commonly associated with malaria and may be misdiagnosed as malaria. Infection with the Ebola virus occurs when one gets into contact with someone else who has been infected by Ebola virus. The virus makes its way into one's body through small cuts on the skin or through the linings of the eyes, the ears, uh, or the nose. When bodily secretions such as tears or blood or saliva from the infected person make contact with these surfaces. Ebola is not curable because there is no treatment that actually has been proven to cure it, but it is survivable. With the right care, um, survival rates uh, have been steadily increasing um, and as better treatment, better support is offered to um, the patients, uh, more and more are being found to survive. If one is diagnosed with Ebola, the current treatment is supportive. That is to mean to replace what might be going uh, wrong with the body. For example, if one is dehydrated, the treatment is towards uh, replenishing fluids. If one's salts are low, uh, the treatment is directed towards replacing those salts. If bleeding um, and bleeding um, emergencies occur, uh, the treatment is directed towards um, replacing those factors that may be absent from the body and stopping the bleeding and replenishing blood. There are a few investigational therapies that have been tried uh, which are um, made available uh, through um, the government. To protect oneself from contracting Ebola, the first thing to do is to avoid travel to areas that have already been flagged as having confirmed Ebola cases. The second thing is to avoid coming into contact with people who are traveling from these uh, areas. So primarily what one does is to avoid travel and number two, avoid contact uh, to areas where people are coming from, uh, where there's already been an alert for Ebola and two, avoiding contact uh, with people who are traveling from uh, areas that have been flagged to uh, have Ebola. If one suspects that they have come into contact with someone with Ebola um, or suspect that they may have Ebola, um, one is supposed to get in touch with their healthcare provider who will then give them guidance as to the next steps to take.